Hey, uh, <laughs> YouTubers, uh, we're here for the Caddis. We're here. I'm here for the Caddis Fly Shop, Jay Nicholas. Uh, I'm going to tie a little nymph for you and show you uh, cool new material. It's new to me. Uh, we're going to do a small trout nymph. Uh, this is an iron blue quill nymph. So let's get started here. Hey, so uh, this little iron blue quill nymph I've got some CDL and this great stuff um, <clears throat> it's always fun to listen to different authorities on how many fibers to use I've heard it said you don't need more than three I have a hard time seeing whoops guess what I've got my uh, got my hook in here. This is size 16. Uh, it's a barbless Gamma Gatsu jig hook. There are some other really good hooks on the market which I'll uh, show you but for now I like this hook really well and I love the fact that it's barbless. So I'm gonna play this game of trying to get my tails short enough but not too short have my threads kind of over where the barb might be. I don't want to tie this fly long. So I think that's okay on my... Anyway, number of fibers, some people say three, some people say five or six, four. I don't think it matters a whole lot. I think with this type of nymph, you don't want a big old shaggy tail. Um, but I don't count too closely. Okay, I want to show you this material. This is a tapered synthetic quill. And uh, I think they've been around. So for tying this fly, you could strip peacock hurl, which is a lot of work and kind of tough. But this really cool stuff it comes in different colors. Basically what you do, you peel it off of this piece of paper. I got two of them there. The fun part is that these synthetic quills, they're sticky on one side. If you can see that, they have a uh, have, they're darker on one side and they taper from quite long to quite narrow. So you can use these on some really small flies. So rather than wrestling with the peacock, and, and I'm going to trim, I'm going to come up about this far. And it's always a toss up whether to tie this sticky side down or sticky side up and then rotate it. Um, I'm going to tie it sticky side down and get my thread right back here to where the tail is and bring my thread forward. By the way, I'm using a gray thread and now what I have to do is make sure that I get the sticky side down. I want the sticky side up. There we go. And this material is very tough. You, I guarantee I wouldn't be pulling on it this hard if I was using a uh, natural peacock quill. And these uh, synthetic quills are really durable too in terms of fish chewing on them. And now um, some uh, rude person might say, Jay, what, what are you messing with that? synthetic quill, why not just wrap some thread around the hook? And I suppose there's something to that, but I do like the sheen of this quill, and I like the idea of it as well. So we're almost finished with this fly. By the way, those, those quills, look, they work really well on, uh, on dry flies too, and emergers. 
So we're almost there. And by, by the way, I had a little bit of 0.15 lead. It, this is a, a slotted tungsten bead. And I, I put a little bit of lead in there, not for the extra weight, uh, but simply to help keep my bead pushed up uh, against the eye of the hook. And I had a little bit of super glue in there too. So now I've got a little bit of uh, ice dub. What color it is, you might ask. Well, that's, to answer that, I'd have to know. This is kind of a pale green. Now, you can use peacock, you can use black, uh, you could use um, UV shrimp pink. For this particular fly, I happen to have a little pinch of this uh, handy. But what, what we're doing here is uh, we're imitating gills. And since I'm insecure, I'm going to put two whip finishes on there. And we're done. And this is like um, jeepers. I spend a lot of time tying my steelhead flies, my intruders. And you catch fish on this thing and put it together pretty quickly. Now, this is both imitative. This fly is both imitative and uh, impressionistic. Fish have seen lots of bugs in their life, uh, even if they're young fish in their life, short so far. Little wispy tails, little narrow body, a little bit of gills. This is just a flash attractor. So it will, they might think, oh, I've seen that before, I'm gonna eat it. Or they might say, oh, I'm seeing a lot of those today, and I'm gonna eat that one too. Point is, it's a very good fly, uh, penetrates the water well. Um, Tie them up, they're a lot of fun, and give, uh, give some of that uh, synthetic tapered quill a try. I've, I've, I like to use the red, too, um, uh, for some of my dry flies as well. Hope you have fun with this. Thank you for joining us.